Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT Geek YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan, as ever, I am the IT Geek. Welcome back to another Microsoft SC200 Security Operations Analyst Exam Series episode. Um, we uh, just finished Learning Path 5, where we, we introduced Microsoft Sentinel. Uh, I had loads of uh, portal issues, which was a bit frustrating. Um, but yeah, so we, we kind of covered an introduction, some of the an overview of the portal. Um, so now we're going to get a bit deeper into that now with, and, and go into connecting and data connections and stuff like that. Um, so just before we get started though again, I, talk, I spoke about this book in, in my last episode, um, but Mastering Microsoft 365 Defender by Ruth Campbell and Victor Hedberg. It, you know, again, this is very much linked to what we're talking about here because obviously uh, Microsoft Defender, Microsoft 365 Defender is part of this exam. Um, so again, for your exam prep, there's no harm in getting this book because it does cover a lot of the content. Um, but just in general, for, for those security bods out there, this is this is a definitely a must-have book. Um, I will go into more detail. I'm going to do a, a review, uh, like I do book reviews um, for the book review series. So I'll be doing a review of this. Then, um, for those who have kind of followed me for a few years, you know me and Victor wrote a book on the SC 400 Information Protection Exam. Um, but he's, he's ventured out and done a mastering Microsoft 365 Defender. He's definitely a master of that topic in anything security, as is Rue Campbell, both, both top blokes. Um, so let's get started with this episode. Uh, well, first, just quickly, Pod is actually hammering it down rain wise and weather wise in the UK at the moment. So if you do hear some background uh, interference noise, it's just because just of the rain. So I do apologize. Uh, so, my socials, you should know those by now. They're all in the description, if not, including my TikTok. So, let's discuss, what, let's discuss what's in Learning Path 6 before we concentrate on what we're going to do today. So, first of all, connecting data to Microsoft Central using date connectors. We're going to cover connecting Microsoft 365 services to Microsoft Sentinel. And in this learning path, we're going to look at connecting Microsoft 365 Defender to Microsoft Sentinel. Connect Windows host to Microsoft Sentinel. And then we have to go on to another slide. There's so many topics. Uh, connect common event format logs to Microsoft Sentinel. Then we'll con connecting syslog data sources. And then finally, we'll finish off with connecting threat indicators to Microsoft Sentinel as well. So what are we doing today? We're going to talk about connecting data to Microsoft 365 Sentinel using data connectors. We're going to talk about connecting Microsoft services to Microsoft Sentinel. And then do a bit of a demo on connecting data to Microsoft Sentinel using data connectors. Jam packed episode. So let's talk about connecting data to Microsoft Sentinel using data connectors first. So let's explain what the data connectors are and the data connector providers. So you've got Microsoft 365 Defender and related Defender services, which you can essentially connect to. Um, Microsoft uh, Sentinel through through a connector essentially. Multiple Microsoft Azure services are supported as well. You can connect Windows security events uh, via AMA uh, through a data connector. You've got vendor connectors, so this includes Google and AWS at the moment. Also got custom connectors, um, which we'll explain a bit more in the next slide. Then common event or format or CEF, CEF and Syslog connectors as well. So we'll talk about custom connectors for a second. This includes Codeless Connects Platform, CCP connectors. Also a Log Analytics Agent custom connector. You can have a Logstash plugin custom connector. You have a custom connector for Logic Apps as well. You have a data connector for PowerShell as well, which you can customize. Finally, you have a Log Analytics API custom data connector as well. Uh, so these are a bit difficult, you can customise these a bit more than the, the kind of out-of-the-box ones we saw in the last slide. And Azure Functions as well, right at the bottom there, hiding. Uh, so that's another custom connector you can have. And these are obviously a mixture of non-Azure and Azure services as well, as you notice. Let's talk about connecting Microsoft services to Microsoft Sentinel now. So we'll talk about planning Microsoft service connectors First of all, prerequisite is you've got to connect your security solution by installing the appropriate solution uh, from the content hub. So we saw that in one of the demos, I think the first demo or second demo I did. Um, we looked at the content hub and though that's where we kind of put, uh, did our connectors, connected our connectors from. You then have to obviously configure them and there'll be a specific configuration depending on what um, connector you are, you are wanting to, to use. And then you have to create those incidents and that security alert uh, table that we, we kind of showed in the last uh, episode or episode before that maybe it was it was in it was in learning path five. Let's talk about connecting Microsoft uh, Office three sixty five connectors for a second. So the Microsoft three sixty five activity log connector provides uh, insight into sort of ongoing user activities, 
Uh, and you'll get details of sort of operations such as file downloads, access requests that are sent, changes to group events, uh, sort of the set mailbox command alert, and details of a user who's performed all these actions as well. When we're talking about connecting as your Active Directory and that sort of connector. Uh, you can gain insight with this connector, you gain insights into Azure AD by, by connecting audit and sign in logs to Microsoft Sentinel to gather sort of insights around Azure Active Directory scenarios. And when you know when there is a kind of been a secure incident within uh, Microsoft 365 and Azure, sort of these two logs are kind of the go to place. First of all, sign in logs and audit logs to see what's happening, who's logged in when, and what they've done. We talk about connecting Azure Active Directory Identity Protection Connector. Uh, Azure Active Directory Identity Protection it provides a consolidated sort of view uh, of your at-risk users, your risk events, and your vulnerabilities. And you have an ability to remediate risk immediately and set sort of policies to auto-remediate events in, in future. So let's talk about uh, data connector providers, those custom connectors we mentioned. So these allow you to see sort of Azure activity. You can, you can look at sort of Azure DDoS protection as well with a custom connector. Uh, Azure Firewall, so these are obviously all Azure services before we saw kind of a mixture of both. Uh, you've got an Azure Key Vault custom connector. You've got an Azure SQL database connector. Finally, you've got a custom Azure Web Application Firewall or WAF connector. Um, so let's jump into a demo now. Where we're going to take a look, close look at that content hub and uh, configuring data connectors. Here we are back in the Microsoft Sentinel uh, portal or workspace, should I say, and we've specifically gone down to content hub. So this is where we have all our connectors. And if we saw in the um, in the one of the demos, and it might be the first demo in, in Learning Path Five, can't quite remember. Um, we had um, I added the Azure Active Directory connector. I also added the Microsoft Defender uh, connector. We'll have a look at those in a second. But if we go to for example, let's let's connect Azure Activity. And here we can see, again, this is a description of, uh, of the actual and what, what it can do for it. It enables you to ingest as your activity administrative, security service and health alert and recommendations, policies, auto scale and resource health logs. Um, it's a single data connector, it's a single workbook, it's 12 analytical rules and it's 14 hunting queries. Um, so then we can click, again, it's free from a pricing perspective. Click on install. Um, that'll install that. But if we go back up to, if we go to, sorry, uh, let's find Microsoft Defender the Cloud. Um, I think I'll yeah, just select that. There it is. Is that what I think? Oh, right. Okay. Let's just try that again. So, again, from Azure Active Directory, we can actually manage that. But I just want to manage the Microsoft 365 Defender one that we installed earlier. Click on, click on actions first of all, we can create a hunt, we can add to an existing hunt, we can reinstall or we can delete. Let's click on manage. Again, this tells us, you know, we can, tells us the install content items, um, but we've got 10 things we need to configure. So we need to configure, uh, click on this. We can open the connector page. Another error, shock horror. Um, and here we can connect incidents and alerts. Tell me something wrong with the Microsoft portal today, of all days. And these we can see here, the, the sort of uh, connected events here. We can select all those if we want. And let's just um, supply changes there, just for example. So we can go in and select what we want, what we can and cannot see, what events we want to see and we connect those into our uh, content hub. Um, so if we go back again, you can do this on any, we can, you know, we could have gone into active, active, uh, Azure Activity, Azure Active Directory and done the same thing, manage, and then uh, connect to whatever, uh, any for whatever events we want. Um, could open the connector page, do the exact same thing there. Um, and then just select the different sort of um, signing logs, audit logs, for example, and apply those changes. Um, I really don't know what's going on with my poll, uh, but it is, it is saying success as well. So that was just a quick overview of connecting, you know, connecting data connectors and how you can manage those. 
Um, so a nice, uh, inform I mean, a very informative, uh, informative episode there. Um, looking at those data connectors, and we are going to delve deeper into some of those and some more information around Microsoft Central as well. Um, loads of useful real URLs in the description. The, the URL to, to the book that I mentioned by by Victor and Rue. Also, a URL to the uh, GitHub lab repository, so you can do labs for FC200. And also, a URL to measure up uh, there. They've got a sale on around exam, different exam uh, question uh, practice papers. Um, so I'm going to put a link to the to the um, discounted SC200 one. But I do recommend um, getting that just just so you can help you help you understand where you are in your in your sort of um, learning journey with this exam. Because it's really good to try practice questions. And measure up again. I've used measure up, and I do use measure up myself for my exams. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye.